We'll see it is then. <clears throat> this is where the ale is at. There's no proper bridge except that one. Fine, let me off here. Where are you at, Norris? <laughs> right, the mine. Norris. I'm going to fetch something for the old man. And he told me there might be some stone that requires clearing. Yeah? I will bring my explosive. Explosive? Oh, the noise of the cave entrance. Okay. Bring the explosives. Interesting. Certainly not your typical colonial woman. A deadly shot. You like her, huh? She brought down that cougar. She is strong, capable. She has no husband? Not that I'm aware of. I don't think she wants one. I never met a woman like her before. I would like to know her better. You should speak to her then. I might try. Hey, don't splash. Don't want to get the powder wet. Do you think she likes Frenchmen? <laughs> you only know if you ask. I see why he encouraged me to enlist your services. Yeah. No problem. We blew it up. Be my guest. Duck and cover! Just let me get out my pistol. Ah, that's a nice one! Thank you. Bienvenue. Doesn't look safe in there. Be careful. I'm always careful. What you said about Miriam is interesting. Have fun. Whoa. No, under. What do we have here? Uh -huh. Yeah, looks unstable. Well, 
What do we have? Uh, get out. Sure. Of course, you can't get out the same way you came in. Climate. Run, run, run. Oh boy. I was close. Uh, can I fast travel now? No, fox, 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 fox. Did I hear more beavers? <coughs> Beaver. Yama. Fast travel. Well, we can hunt this way. Trader? No, that's the carriage. So, what did I just get you? He's in the basement. Kelly's? I have what you asked for. I must know who put it there and for what purpose. I did. 
I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach. But that was a long time ago. What is that? Don't tell me it's Altair costume. Who does that belong to? These were the robes of the first assassin to come to the colonies. Ooh. Okay. Where is it? Oh well. Any other homestead missions? Who do we have here? Gunner. Norris. What you got? What you have? Norris goes coding. Oh boy. Norris. Um, you know Miriam? Uh, yes. Of course. What does she like? I want to give her a gift. I really do not know. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me call on Prudence. She may be of service. Are you trying to find gold? Let's talk to Prudence. Is there an easier way to reach Prudence? No, nope, because fast travel is disabled. Yama. Raccoon. Keep going. What? Did I hear a beaver? Making bread, that's cool. Prudence. Good day, Connor. Norris is trying to court a woman. What do you <laughs> women like <laughs> in terms of gifts? A nice bunch of wildflowers always brightens my day. Who is it Norris fancies? Best not say for now. Fair enough. Best ones are atop the bluff to the northwest. A bit tricky to get, but they grow large and healthy in the full sun. Of course, it's something an assassin has to do. Chimkins! Even you can pet the cows, you can pet the cows in this game. 
Okay, let's kill some wolves on the Radox. Come get me. Yama. Yama. Okay, I need to collect beavers and I need to collect wolves. Come get me. Come on. Where are you going? Yama. Okay. Up. How the hell do I get through all the trees? Okay. And we climb here. Still too many trees. Get on the fucking wood. That still has to hurt, right? Need one more wolf. Few more beavers. I can't climb the cliff from here. Nope. Okay. Are you in the toilet? Chris, are you in there? Uh, we? Oui? Oh, I will find you a little later then. No, <laughs> no, it's all right. What is it? <laughs> Prudence advised a bunch of wild flowers. Really? Are you sure? It doesn't seem right. <laughs> it's right. Just, just go with the flow. No, it's called cotton. New upgrade available. Special iron ingots. Okay, we got another one. Another two. I heard a beaver. Or a raccoon. 
Ja, Oma. What? That sounded like a beaver. Yep. Yeah, Oma. One more beaver. Any beavers on the premises? Yeah, Oma. I'm sorry, beavers. But you're the most expensive things in the game. Oh, the infolk wants something. No, it's the... What you are you doing? You haven't played bowls! Bowls? What are you doing? I see you are getting along again. Oh, aye. <laughs> We're uh, always at each other for one thing or another, but... More often than not, we work it out in the end. It's just the thought of my family threatened got me hot under the collar. <laughs> and? Terry knows he couldn't beat me in a fight. You rat! That's why he built this bold pitch, so he could beat me at something. Still can't, though, can you, Terry? <laughs> that was winning till Connor came along! Sure you were. Okay, how do you play this thing? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll use the mouse. Okay, let's say I throw it in here. Why is it glowing red? Uh, press P to change the throw type. I just activate the tactical camera. Level shot. Lob shot. Okay. Maybe I should do it like this. So, like this. I feel sorry for you. Uh, hello? Uh. Oh, you need to hit the middle one? That should do. Damn it. Oh, I got it. Four points. Uh. Not sure I get this game. Congratulations. Oh, the rounds. Can I throw this? Just... Just throw this game? No, there are much better games.
Let's try and knock it over a bit. I missed. Nah. What the hell just happened? Puts the pressure on. I don't get it. Do not like to lose. Okay, I lost. Now what? Okay, whatever. Silly game. There are too many games. Yeah, they're not interesting. Let's run along the river, see if I can get any beavers. Okay, what you got? Ooh, making a crib. Happy expectations. You want to tell him, my love? I'm pregnant. Congratulations. It's been a long time coming. It does present a slight problem, however. There's no doctor for miles. Morning. Well, then we should find one. I know of one that may consider moving here. His name is Dr. Lyle White. It's been a turn since we last saw him, but you might try his old house in Boston. Okay. Nothing else here. Go to Boston. Right, new stuff in shops. We'll see about that later. They're making cabbages in the middle of the city. Yeah, traversing the city is annoying. Okay, Quebec is complete. Right, nothing else. Okay, before we do Quebec then, go to Massachusetts. With this and this, no good. Uh, fine. Finish up Quebec. And you go to New Hampshire.
Bu Bağdat. Oh yeah, you want a piece of me? I think I'm just gonna start the mission. Nope, can't. No? Okay, give up. Give up. I think they're gonna give up. Come here. Come here. Oh, damn it. I moved too soon. But everything's okay now. Nothing's the matter, everything's fine. Hi, Dr. White. Dr. White? No, he's the drunken sot around the corner. If you can get his attention, tell him I quit. All this ire on him. Not worth getting caught up in it. I have a family. Okay. Okay, that was not non lethal. Dr. White. Yes. My name is Connor. And what can I help you with? Another quote for the broadsheets for you to twist against me? I'm here to make you an offer. Don't you know who I am? I'm the doctor the British have been slandering all over town. White death. No? I was given your name by my friends Warren and Prudence. Prudence is with child and requires a doctor's hand. Prudence is pregnant? Ha! They've been trying for years, it seems. Maybe getting away from Boston is exactly what I need. Mm-hmm. Good, we have a doctor now. Uh, where exactly am I? Oh, okay. 
let's port over here. And come on. Now, you shut up. No, he's running away. Dein Freund brauchst Weapons. Wooden War Club. Speed 5, Damage 6. Huh. That seems like fun. Let's do that. Anything else? Outfits? No, nothing unlocked. Right. Uh, back to the homestead. Now I'm using a club. Okay, let's see how the club works. No homestead missions. Can I get a beaver or a wolf? Not the right gift. <laughs> what you doing? Bad news. She did not like the flowers. She tossed them aside. But Prudence was certain. I knew Miriam was not the type for flowers. I will uncover this mystery myself, Norris. <laughs> All right, but please don't let her see you. She will think I'm bizarre. You're bizarre. Well, that's okay. Bunny, bunny, foxy, oh, bunny. What? What? Yama. Simpkins. Why isn't it showing a distance on my map? Miriam's camp. Right.
You know what? You're kind of right. It's probably not the type of flowers. Let's see if we can get closer. Oh. Um. Can I help you, Connor? No, it's fine. <laughs> what is the timer for? Oh. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Look the other way for a second. What am I supposed to do here? That's a raccoon. to get clues. She broke her knife. She might appreciate a new knife. That blade has seen its prime. Okay. Yeah, I get her. She likes practical gifts. Me too. Good girl. That's a fox. She's 
to make an obsidian blade. That'll be cool. Norris. I looked around her camp and it seems she needs a new hunting knife. The one she is using has seen better days. Oh, oui. That seems more right for her. I'll think on it. Merci. Yay. New upgrade. Special iron ingots. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's a farming mission. And that's a raccoon. And that's another raccoon. Maybe boxes are too fast and not worth enough. Yeah, boxes. No, isn't this corny? You need help with something. Pig herder, great. That was one of the what is pigs. it, students? I feel silly bothering you with this, but Warren's taken a yield to market in Boston. Could you round up the livestock for me? I've tried, but this baby in my belly takes the wind out of me. Of course. I will see to it. Oh, the, the pigs. Get going. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go in though. Not there. No, I'm not in the pen. In the pen. Faster than they look. Nope, nope. Get in the pen. No, in the pen. Good piggies. Thank you, Connor. I could never have managed that. <laughs> it was my pleasure. Are you well? I am. And I couldn't be happier. Warren and I have been waiting a long time for this. And if truth be told, we could not dream of a better place to raise our family. Actually, it's pretty nice. Now we have a mill. Okay, no more homestead missions for now. Let's check the book. Also, what's going on with my assassins? But you were both busy. The mission. Rhode Island. Sure, let's go to Rhode Island.
Wait. They're not available, so how do I have the assassin font? Achilles. In the basement. Remembering old times, Achilles? Connor. Oh, yes, I suppose I was. Seems like so long ago. Who was the assassin this belonged to? Originally, it was John de la Tours, the first assassin in the colonies. Then it was mine for a time. Ah, the things I've done wearing that armor. Some are uplifting to recall, <laughs> others very painful indeed. One day, I will hand it over to you, Connor. It is your duty to keep it. It serves as a reminder for how long our brotherhood has really been here. How long we've been protecting the people of this land. But here I am going on again. I know you appreciate what it is. Yeah, but I'm not gonna wear it. I like mine. Okay, what can we... Bali. Cowhide. Legs. Oak. Poultry. Rye. Wheat. Hickory Maple Rosewood Rosemary St. John's Wort Beavers Boxes, elephants, clay, copper, lead, limestone, rock salt, sulfur. The rest is all full. What can we make? Need flints. Angle sword. Stonehead war club. Disinfectant. Flower. Ales. Spirits. Oh, I can't make spirits. Not enough barley. I don't have venison. Jugged hair. Salt. Smoked meat. Tea. Tea? Really? Venison heart. Brave beaver tooth knife. Okay, convoys are ready. 
You know what we're selling. I sent it um, I sent it too much. Ah too early. Idiot. And I bought. Fine. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, let's do the thing. something with that club. New regiment assignment failed. Yeah. The poor Wilkinson was injured. Okay, what are we doing? Hold and stay your business. Um, hi. Conflict looms. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Very well. Follow me. New weapons and firearms. It's not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Breeds. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any the Battle of Bunker Hill, June 17, 1775. Bunker Hill was one of the first battles of the Revolutionary War. Technically, the rebels lost, but it was a fairic victory for the British. Let me set this up a bit. There are two places where rebel forces would have been able to mount attacks on British-occupied Boston. One was at the Charleston Peninsula to the north, the other was Dorchester Heights to the south. When rumors started that the British were going to fortify the hills around Charleston, the rebels decided to act. <coughs> By which I mean do something, not put a little play. On the night of June 16, 1775, troops under the command of William Prescott sneaked onto the peninsula, occupied Bunker Hill, and built fortifications on Breed's Hill. It was a tactically terrible choice. Breed's Hill was easier for enemies to climb, much more open to attack, and close enough to the British ships in the harbor to come under fire. In fact, Prescott's orders were to fortify Bunker Hill. It's uncertain why he made the switch. Maybe he had trouble with B words like Bunker and Breeds. He probably thought he was fighting against the, Belgi the Belgians, not the Brits. 
Unfortunately for the rebel army, it seemed the British were almost as tactically inept as they were. When General Ho landed the troops at Moulton's Hill, he waited for reinforcements rather than attacking immediately. This gave the rebel forces time to shore up their fortifications. Then when Ho finally did attack, he divided his forces, expecting the disorganized rebel army to fall before him, which it didn't. In fact, the British forces attacked and retreated twice before winning the day, after they'd received more reinforcements and the rebels were mostly out of ammunition. The casualty reports are telling, 220 British soldiers dead, including many of their officers, and more than 800 injured. On the rebel side, 300 injuries and 140 deaths. The Continental Army had shown they could hold their own against a better trained British Army, and it's hard to say which side was more surprised by that. It still surprises me to this day. <coughs> William Johnson, what's the update? If you're wondering, the official reason for Johnson's death was given out as a stroke, I guess publicizing that he was killed while threatening to murder treaty negotiators would probably have caused some political tensions, to put it mildly. I suppose a bloated head, for example, could be described as a very heavy stroke. John Pitcairn. When Thomas Gage sent British troops to Lexington and Concord, he picked Pitcairn for the job, figuring the rebels would listen to him when it came time to talk. Instead, Pitcairn was a man in charge when his marines killed eight militiamen at the Battle of Lexington, starting the Revolutionary War, severely damaging his reputation as a peacemaker. Multiple deaths can do that. Pitcairn's report on the battle said he had ordered his men not to fire unless the rebels fired first, but that didn't stop the rumors that he'd commanded to the attack. History has taken a kind of view, Pitcairn is now considered as one patriot described him, a good man in a bad cause. <coughs> 